Welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when we upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you a few things you can do that will hopefully fix the cannot connect to Call of Duty Cold War online services notice window, or if it just keeps simply saying connecting to Call of Duty online services and it's not doing anything. If you also haven't checked out part one to this video yet, the link is in the description below. And also if the methods I show in this video didn't help fix the issue for you, but you have figured out a way to resolve it, then please comment below and help everyone else out. The first thing we need to do is make sure Call of Duty Cold War is running as a administrator and also battle.net. To do this, all we need to do is find the two shortcuts you can also find them in your start menu if you don't have them on your desktop. You then need to right click on the shortcut and go to properties. And you now need to go to compatibility. We then need to select the option that says run this program as a administrator and press apply and OK. You now need to right click on the Call of Duty Black Ops shortcut and go open file location. And you now need to right click on the Black Ops Cold War.exe and we need to go to properties and you now need to do the same again go to compatibility and we now need to click on run this program as a admin as well and press apply and OK. Now we have set the two Cold War applications to run as an admin we need to do the same for battle.net. You need to find your battle.net shortcut and right click and go to properties go to compatibility and then click on run this program as an admin, apply and OK. Once you have done that, go ahead and boot up the game and see if this has fixed your problem. Also, you do need to have Battle.net and Call of Duty closed when setting them as an administrator. If unfortunately that didn't help the issue, then the next thing we want to do is disable UAC. To do this, you need to open up your start menu and you now need to type in UAC and you need to click on change user account control settings. You now need to set this to never notify, but just be warned, you will never be notified if you make any changes to Windows settings or install any software. Go ahead and boot up the game now and see if this has helped fix the issue you're having. If it hasn't helped fix the connection issue, then you can go ahead and change this back to the default setting and go OK. The next thing you want to do is just disable any antivirus software you may have installed on your PC. If you're using the standard Windows Defender, then go ahead and disable that antivirus as well. You just want to disable the real time and then boot up the game and see if it now works. But just remember, while your antivirus is disabled, then you are open to threats. So make sure you re-enable it ASAP. But if the game did work when your antivirus was disabled, you then need to add Call of Duty to the exception list. If you are still unable to connect to Call of Duty services, then the next thing you want to do is just make sure you are signed in on the user account in Windows that you originally installed and set Call of Duty up on. As I have noticed, if I switch to another user on my PC, I cannot actually connect to the services. But if I switch back to the account in Windows that I originally did install Call of Duty on, it does work on that account. So go ahead and give this a try. The next thing to try if you still cannot connect to the services is click on the link in the description below. You will then end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to sign into your activation account. I'm going to go ahead and log in now. Once you have logged into your activation account, you now need to click on profile in the top right hand corner. You will now see account linking on the left hand side. You need to click onto this button and you then need to make sure your battle.net account is linked. As you can see, my account is linked, which means this isn't what is causing me problems. If your account isn't linked, then go ahead and link your Blizzard account and then launch the game and see if it is now working. But just remember, you do need to link it to your Blizzard account that you purchased Cold War on. 
If these methods didn't work for you, then unfortunately it might just be down to an actual network issue you're having with your PC, or it might just be the services are currently down which you can check on the link in the description below. But like I said at the start of this video, if you have found a way to connect to the services that I did not mention in this video, then please comment below, help everyone else out. And if you did enjoy this video, then hit that like button and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.